Hi guys, so today I have a review for you for the Poison Ivy Bombshell statue in the um, Sepia Fairy. So yeah, they brought out the original one. The original one basically is the same, but um, more prominent colours, vibrant, you know, the bright green skin, etc. And then they brought out this one. Just realised there's a bit missing. <laughs> right, so for this statue, I actually prefer this one actually compared to the original. I know some people are saying if you can get the original, get this one. I kind of like this one because I kind of feel it suits the bombshell theme, if that makes sense. Like it's kind of um, vintage looking. It's got muted colours, obviously. I think it looks um, very kind of classic and classy in that sense. So yeah, so jumping straight into it. I absolutely love this statue. I think it is stunning. It is so well made. It's it looks great. It's like a proper heavy, bulky size. So you do feel like it's a, it is expensive because it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's an it's a really good statue. I'm very very impressed with all the detailing, especially on her face because I feel like a lot of the time I see poison ivy statues and I'm a bit off about. I feel like they just don't get the face quite right. I don't know. There's something always a bit off for me with a lot of them. But this one I absolutely love. I think it looks insanely good so i just want to make a little disclaimer here i've got this one off amazon as like a um as like an amazon return kind of thing so it's quite discounted there's a few sort of marks on the skin and or whatever and the box is a bit damaged but um so i just want to point that out in case you um see any like marks and think uh what <laughs> yeah so that's that was um it's it was a pre-owned one yeah so going straight into it i'm gonna go bring the face a little bit closer so if you can see I think the detailing is really really pretty I think I just feel like the video doesn't do it justice it's just I think it looks insane I'll, I'll obviously put more photos in etc that will be a bit better quality and whatnot but it's very well detailed I love sort of like the rose going on I love the the um butterfly on her elbow with the tattoos I think it all looks really really pretty so and again like with the clothing you know it looks great <laughs> there's no way to like deny it and i love the little um feature here with the poison ivy little um plaque if you will i think all the fawns and um whatnot also look really really lovely i've just put it back here a little bit so and move my camera so you can see the there so there's a look all the forms and everything i think that the fact that it makes a love heart it looks it's just quite cute i think it has a very sweet kind of touch there um as for the box i do have the box but i actually did try filming this video before but it didn't come out too great so the box is um, unfortunately i put the box in the loft now so but the, as i say the box was second hand so i don't think it would have been a very fair um kind of comparison but, I th but the box detailing is also very, very pretty, very classic um, and whatnot compared to the statue. So as for the actual, like, the vines and all the um, fawns and whatnot, these actually slot in with magnets and they have little, um, like, numbers. So if I just, I don't want to really take it all apart, but if you see here, you've got the plaque, the little magnetic thing, and it just sort of plops into the little magnetic bit there. Nice and easy, pretty secure. So I quite like that point. I'm quite glad they did go for magnets for this statue instead of um like pins because I feel like if they had pins everywhere, I'd feel I think it would have taken something away from the statue. But um if I just do a demonstration here, so if I go for this one for example, easy. It comes out really easily. Well, like when you when you try and take it out, if that makes sense. So if I just put that there, see it says the A. And then on the statue, I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all, but there is like a corresponding A in the in the slot. So it's very easy to assemble in that respect. So you can just easily fit them back into place and they, they stay in really well. Um, I love this statue. I think it's actually my favourite Poison Ivy statue. Uh, I previously bought the Kotobakia one, although I do still absolutely love this statue. I feel like this, this has something really different to it and I think it's really one of a kind. And I just, I love the look of it. I think it looks so pretty. I think I love how her, um, her hands are also like buried in her hair. I think every aspect of this statue is just really good. And I think they did such a good job with the um, bombshell theme for Poison Ivy, actually. So yeah, I think that's going to be like the wrap up for my quick little review here for you. Um, 
definitely recommend this statue. I think there's, I can't really find really any faults with it, to be honest. I think it's insanely good. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.